Betts is looking for some help. I have two Teams accounts, one for business, one personal. I want to close the personal account, but lost my password. In order to close the account, I need to restore the account first, but Microsoft says they need to verify my identity first. I tried to follow the steps as good as possible, but they keep saying they need more info to identify me. No matter what I try, I cannot get rid of this account and Microsoft cannot be reached, not by phone, not by email. What can I do now? I feel caged, this is absurd. I mean, my first question is, do you know that you are you? Is that for sure? You're confident. You're a figment of your imagination. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been caught in that loop. You know, actually, not well, not so much me, but I've had family members caught in that loop. Many of them, unfortunately, not all in the young space, of course. <laughs> it's the more the, the older, and half the time it's because they've changed their email address. They've kind of shopped and they're moving around, and then they're they're kind of done. So they're caught in a loop. It's like too bad, so sad. I'm sorry, but you can't do anything about that when you're caught in that loop. You, <clears throat> you know. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, there's a lot of little gotchas in there. You can have yeah. an email account that you no longer use. You can yeah. have a phone. That was set up that for you recovery no longer use. that you no longer yep. use or have. Yeah. Um, yep. You could have set it up uh, a, a phone number that you still have, but you originally set it up as because originally Microsoft would allow you to have a voice call where mm -hmm. a nice little recorded thing would would call you and say, Hi, this is Microsoft. I remember that. Uh, account mm -hmm. security. Uh, if you're mm -hmm. trying to log into something, press the following key. And you'd press the following key and off you'd go and everything would happen. I had one of those and it was just by luck that I happened to catch the fact that they had changed on uh, my my account page. They say we're now saying we're going to send a text to that phone number. And it's like, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't do that because that phone won't work with a text. So you have to mm -hmm. change that. So there are a whole and the, the big thing with people, they got to go back in and 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 remember to look at these factors yeah. that just happens yeah. all the time and unfortunately yeah. there is no living human at microsoft to talk to if you yeah. can't go through the account recovery then you're lost because there mm. isn't a human they can't get in and do anything specifically we're talking here about an outlook.com account or the like mm. they can't do mm. a thing so that scares that I, me to death yeah so something well, that i have done so one, you should always make sure you're filling in all the potential options for backup recovery. For Some people just, as well. so mm. most people just do one and say they're covered. I tell them to do them all. You never know, right? Mm -hmm. Two, because he has a business account, if he's an admin and has the ability, I have had a user submit through their business account. So the support ticket through Microsoft, because it's another piece of identity that they could tie them to. And they looked up his personal account and got it fixed for him. That's good to know. I like that one. Yeah. So, so he was able to get his issue resolved that way, but it's because he had the business account side of it. Right. And he, yeah. they were able to tie it to it and get it fixed. But if you're not an admin and have access to that, you'd have to see if your company would help you out. That's, you know, so in this yeah. scenario, say that that uh, he doesn't have that that issue or that 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 opportunity. I mean, what can you do? I mean, stop payment on that uh, that that card basically to to get it. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft then has to shut it down. And that's hard to do too. I found out mm -hmm. looking at around it when I was examining this problem. Uh, the credit card companies are highly reticent to just go shutting down from their end. They, their, their, their thing is, no, you need to go tell Microsoft to stop sending us bills. Then we'll, then we'll take your credit card off automatic, and you can be in into a really vicious circle that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can do a stop payment. Sometimes there's a fee to do that, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but you can do that. You can also go into your Microsoft account and remove your payment. But if because you can't get into the account, oh no, you no, if they can't account. get into the email is different to some the account, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have that ability because I had one expire and I never thought about it until I went to go use it, right? And then I was like, oh heck, this is expired. It'd been that way forever. Couldn't tell you last time I had actually been in there. So that I mean, oh, that depends on the too. it depends on the account because if it's all tied in and the authentication yeah. and they can't get in, then it'll be the same on 
it'll same for both. Sometimes you can have an account where you've got multiple emails that you've got created and tied to it. Then you'd be able to, but if you don't, you still can't get in to remove. That's what I've found <clears throat> with the with the family members and more than family members, some friend members too that sort of go, I can't do it. Um, and then they've ended up with a ton of different emails. And my father is notorious for it because he can never remember his emails. He can never remember his passwords. And he's got like seven Facebook accounts. And <laughs> so it just goes on and on. And I've tried, I've gone in, I've managed to remove um, four of the seven, but there are three that, because I can't even get into the email because he's created, uh, look, he, um, yes, I think I've now totally banned him from all things social. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know that I have now. Um, yeah, he's he's at a home, but look, it's a, it is a real problem, without a doubt. It it is a it is a problem because there's no way ultimately if you call it back, you just have to walk away unless it's removing payment, and then you have to find other ways. But yeah, yeah. So if any of those help, <laughs> yay! Yeah. But they may not. Just depends. So. Yeah. Well, I mean that that. And th that suggestion too. I mean, look, that is the final answer. It's probably not the the best, but to to go and stop the payment on that, and that that'll stop it. That'll get somebody at Microsoft when when payments cease to uh, to reach out. So, um, but I mean, it's it's your money, so you ultimately do have control over that. But you will likely have to pay a fee.